Welcome to RK Broadcast. In this video, I would like to explain Euclidean distance and Manhattan distance, which are very important to use in uh, many machine learning algorithms, particularly unsupervised learning algorithms like k-mean and k-nearest neighbor, etc. Basically, these two distance measures are used to find the distance among two or more points. Let me first introduce the Euclidean distance. As I mentioned earlier, the Euclidean distance is the distance measure used to find the distance among two different points. Like see in this plane, there are two points, point A, point C. Let us say with the example, this point is A and this point is C. You need to find the distance among these two points. These two points coordinates, coordinates are uh, x1, y1 x2 y2 this Euclidean distance works basically using a Pythagoras theorem let us say this uh, works with the Pythagoras theorem let us say there is a another point will be taking here B so as for Pythagoras theorem it is able to find out the distance between um, AC square is equals to a b square plus b c square so as for this need to find out this distance here a c is equals to root over a b square plus b c square now let us see this a b we are going to find out this point x1 because as for this is the x coordinate and x axis and y axis and this indicates a x2 x2 and similarly y1 and y2 let us say using this pythagoras theorem way we are going to be use the euclidean distance formula root over a b square here we need to find out as for this x2 minus x1 whole square plus bc this indicates the y axis so that's why it is using using y2 minus y1 whole square <coughs> this is very simple Euclidean distance able to find out the distance among these two points of a and c so this is very simple way using this formula use used to calculate the equivalent distance for two points among two points let us say there is another point added here the formula is going to be extended extended with another coordinate like that we can able to calculate with using equivalent distance let us see the simple example with using equivalent distance how to calculate let us take two points let us take two points example a and b the coordinates of these two points let us say minus 3 comma 8 and 2 comma 4 so as for this formula of Euclidean distance is is going to calculate among these two different points let us say x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square root over so we are going to be calculate distance between a b so according to this a b let us say here with this example x1 y1 x2 y2 so here we are trying to find out x2 minus x1 2 2 is x2 minus so minus 3 of course whole square plus y2 4 minus 8 whole square root over so now a b is equals to we are going to be simplify this minus 5 whole square of course minus 4 whole square this will be uh, going to be calculated like 
25 plus 8 sorry 16 16 so now it's going to be calculate 41 so simplified this approximately 6.403 this is simple example to calculate Euclidean distance among two different points in the two dimension now let us understand Manhattan distance the Manhattan distance also have other names we call it as a rectilinear distance city block distance Taxi cab distance. There are other names. I will explain the end of this video why it is called as a city block distance and taxi cab distance. I will explain with an application. Let's take a point A and there is another point C. We try to find out the distance among these two points. But in the Manhattan distance, we directly cannot calculate the distance between A and C. We need to take it as another point here B similar like earlier saying in the Euclidean distance here in this case this is as usual similar thing this is my x-axis and y-axis these two uh, points saying about x1 y1 and x2 y2 so this can be projected here x1 and this can be projected here x2 same like similarly we can use here uh, we can project it y1 and uh, y2 let us the difference here <clears throat> the Manhattan distance we cannot calculate the distance directly from A to C so we need to calculate it through another point of B we can calculate the distance in the Manhattan directly A B plus BC. We cannot straight away calculate the distance between A and C. We calculate the AB plus BC. So in this very simple, this Manhattan distance, find out as for these coordinates, X2 minus X1 absolute plus Y2 minus Y1 absolute. What is the meaning of here this absolute? It means the distance here, whatever it comes, it's, it's, it comes as a negative, we cannot consider as a negative. It must be a positive. That indicated an absolute. The absolute term always indicates the positive, positive term. So this is very simple formula used to Manhattan distance. See with an, a simple example to calculate among these two different points. Let us see within this here, there are two different points among these two similar like AC so then we need we cannot directly calculate the distance between A and C so we can use the another point here there is a B. let us see the coordinates are saying about 3 comma 5 and 2 comma 3 and 1 comma 6 so we need to find the distance from A to C, we cannot find it directly to A to C. So we can find out between A, B and B, C. So now we are going to be use as for this formula, 3 minus 1 absolute plus, because we are trying to find out A, B, A, B first. 3 minus 1 absolute plus, 5 minus 6 absolute the absolute indicates if it comes negative it can be considered only positive so this can be 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 like similarly we need to find out the distance among b c so in this case 1 minus 2 absolute plus 6 minus 3 absolute it can be used to 1 plus 3 is equals to 4 so now, as for this, AB plus BC. So then AB, we calculated 3 plus, we calculated the BC distance 4, there is a 7. So we need to, cannot find out a distance among 
two, two, two different points of AC. So then we can use the Manhattan distance. Let us see the application here, how it can be used to calculate. And very importantly, we need to understand, after understanding these two, two distances, we should clear one important point, when to use Euclidean distance and when to use Manhattan distance. After understanding these two distance measures, Euclidean and Manhattan, when to use Euclidean distance and when to use Manhattan distance. Let us see very clearly here. There are two points X and Y. We can able to find out the distance among these two points straight away. Then we can use Euclidean distance. In some cases, we cannot find the distance among the two points straight away among X and Y. In that case, we can use Manhattan distance. Let me clear with this example. Let us take one city. In city, there is one colony. In, in this colony, there are different houses. We'll be showing like this. There are different blocks. Assume that these are the different houses. Assume there is house one, house two, and so on like this. So in this case, we need to find out a distance among one house to another house. Assume these are the different roadblocks. Assume there are the different roadblocks. So we need to find out distance from, for example, this H0 to some, some way other place of other house. For example, this is called H10. We need to find out the distance, distance between these two. We cannot find out straight away. For example, a taxi is going to be start from the H0 to H6. It cannot go straight. It can go in this line. So in this case, that's why I'm, I'm telling about Manhattan distance. We cannot find out a straight distance between two points. Then we can use Manhattan distance. In this case, we can see it from this house to this house. We cannot find out the distance straight away. We can go this road, go and this. That's why it is called as uh, most of the time city block distance and taxi cab distance. That type of applications where there is where, where we cannot find out distance straight away, then we can use Manhattan distance. There are other many different distances. We can choose based on your research problem. You can select which distance is possible to use in your application. So I think you like this video. You please share with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.